Hi, welcome to the shop. Today we had a simple job. Um, I got a request if I could um, machine a keyway slot in a gear. This is a, I think these are called helical gears and it had a 3mm bore and the person I did this for wanted me to shape a 3mm keyway into it and as I didn't have um, brooches I did it as I do it always on the shaper and I'm going to show you the process that I use when I make keyways and also the setup so hang around we will go over to the shaper okay this is my setup to shape keyways in bores I have an angle plate set up on the table of the shaper and I have the part, in this case the helical gear um, put on a set of parallels and clamped down with a pair of strap clamps I removed the standard clapper box and put on this massive block that's um, rigid it, doesn't, it has no swiveling action whatsoever to it and in it is this shaper tool for keyways let me pull it out for you the The um, bore in this holder is already angled down at 5 degrees in this direction, so it already has um, clearance built into it. This is the tool itself, it's, it's a piece of, um, this is machined of steel. Um, it has a flat on it where it's clamped by two set screws. It's um, cross drilled and reamed to take a 4mm high speed steel bit and on the front is a 4mm set screw. The high speed steel insert is, oh, wait, is ground to a width of, of 3mm in this case as I want to shape a 3mm keyway it got um, about 2 degree clearance to the back and the bottom has about um, the bottom has about 10 degrees of I back also had rake. to mill a flat on top to get some more clearance because the bore we are working in is only 13 millimeters so I just took an end mill and run it over once let's put it back in the holder because of the set screws and the flat that I have milled on it it's it's self adjusting I don't it's I don't have to level it out I already did one pass by hand to adjust my um, center of the bore to the tool. I'm just when I do this, I'm just looking if the cutter takes uh, on each side of the bore a slight cut that's almost the same width on both sides, and then I know I'm in the what center. I also did I set up my dial indicator against my table or against my angle block because when I want to measure the height of my keyway in the gear I have to move my table over and when I'm coming back I just have to look at the Okay, dial. I brought the camera, camera over again and I hope you can see the cut here better. I will crank it by hand once and there you can see the tool coming through the bore of the gear
down 1.3 millimeters and now I'm going to check my measurement. I'm retracting the tool I'm just taking a note where I'm at retracting my tool moving over my table And um, <clears throat> okay, I'm measuring with the dial calipers from the keyway to the other side of the bore 40.3 millimeters. 14.3, and in my drawing, there is the number says 14.8 plus or minus 2 tenths of a millimeter. So I have a uh, 5 tenths of a millimeter to go to my final depth. Okay, okay let's finish this. Um, I always hand crank the shaper before I start it because I don't want to crush anything on on this machine, this um, there are very high forces involved when you crash something like this, and something will break. So let it be safe. Okay, I got the camera freehand, as you can see, down here, down here, there's my keyway. Um, and there you can see it too. Um, now I'm going to move over my table again and take another measurement, but I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I hit the 14.8 millimeters pretty good. I have a 3 millimeter gauge block here, and that fits in my 3 millimeter keyway perfectly snug. There is no wiggle and no plate. There you have it, one 3mm keyway. Okay, we're back at the bench. We have the keyway finished. A 3mm gauge block fits into it very, very snug and very nice. The measurement we got from the person we did this for, the 14.8mm, we hit that pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching.